grab the logo, copy that, and I'll just paste it on top. Oops. Like so. And start to maneuver it. I've got an idea that it's going to be on the side a little bit, like this. maybe okay fantastic so I'll bring that into the design cut that away put it onto this layer it like so. Um, this block here, I think I'm going to put on a gradient. So I'll go over to this gradient tool here, click there, double click on the white, um, and I'll turn it to red. Go back, oops, and give this white here. I think that's a little bit strong. softer. There we go, that's better. <clears throat> go to the gradient tool. Might start it a little bit higher like that. Okay. So we'll keep going. Get rid of that layer, I don't need it anymore. Have a little bit more of a look at this. So um, I might start to make these icons, make another layer actually. And we have some symbols, so you can go window, symbols, and you can flick through those. Down here there's all these different symbol libraries. So we can go to web icons, have a look in there, you can see there's some icons that are related to the web. Um, we've got an RSS already built for us, so we'll grab that one, and I'm maybe I'll grab a printer one as well while I'm there. Um, but there are a whole heap of other libraries that you can flick through. So there's these bars. Might grab that. You can click through and have a look at them. I've got some iPhone and iPad ones as well. Um, but there's a whole heap that you can you can flick through. You might grab the search and throw that in as well. Okay, so let's see. First thing that I want to do with this symbol is break it apart. Um, that means that any changes I make, it won't re change any of these that are in my uh, symbols library. So if I were to double click inside this, then it will come up with a warning, hey, you're about to change this for all definitions, do you want to continue? And usually you don't. So the first thing that you want to do when you're using symbols is to break them apart, unless you're wanting to make a symbol where everything will be changed if you change it in one place, which has an advantage as well. Um, all right, I'm just going to split this around like that. I think it's a little bit big for my liking, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. A little bit smaller again. Grab this, break it apart as well, change the color, make it white, make that smaller. So I'm just resizing it using the pre transform tool. Go over, pop that in there. Whoops, cut that away, and cut that away and just paste it in front. Zoom in a little bit, have a look at this. Okay, so I'm starting to lay out that. You can group those up, so I can draw a rectangle around them, Control G and group them. So now I can just click in one 
and I can move the whole group. Okay, I can place this down here. I'm thinking that they're going to sit sit across the top maybe, like that. I'll have like three or four icons there. And in my sketch, oops, my sketch, there it is. You can see I've got a couple other icons that I'd like to incorporate as well and a search. I also like to add a color in there, so I'm going to do that first actually. Go here, start drawing a white rectangle around this section. And this is where I'd like the main contents for the website to be. Oops. So I'm going to have a couple of buttons that will go across the top. Like that I need to give myself a little bit more room. So they can fit in there. Maybe like that. So I'll start off with this one will be the home button. We'll have the other buttons that will be sitting sort of like that across the page. I've got plans for a video section in there, uh, teacher insight. You can click on this link and you can go to the actual RMIT website because this is just a, a, micro, a micro website for the RMIT. Um, I've got an idea of a heading a bit of a line in there, so I might quickly draw up that. So this could be the heading for the particular page. So I'll just do a heading for now. Um, I've noticed RMIT uses Arial as their font. Probably for a heading, make it 18, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, as more. I want my video block to be in there and I also wanted a dotted line through here so I'll draw that go over to the line tool and this is where I can choose whether it's dashed or not um, these are settings that I've had in there before so two pixels with a four pixel gap a font weight of one so if I have a look at that, it's starting to look alright. I'll break this apart, go in there, I think I'll make this grey, resize it, okay. So I'm saying to lay out my page, um, I'm going to keep laying it out because you don't need to watch me do every single part. Um, have a go of starting to lay out your web pages and uh, then we can discuss it in class. Alright guys, thank you.